Hello friends, welcome to ElectroPixels. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notification. Welcome friends. This is a 24-inch LED TV. In this TV the complaint is backlight ok no picture no display problem. See this is the fault. This panel comes with 24 inch bow panel. Here this is the motherboard. This is the panel scalar board. While checking with the multimeter here we observed that the panel input VCC is ok other than VGH, VGL etc are missing. Here actually DC DC IC goes to protection mode due to internal shorting in gate signals inside the glass panel the shorting may be either from the left side the glass panel. While checking SMD capacitors no shorting is found. But putting multimeter in ohms mode, between VGH and VGL it shows high value reading, which indicates a shorting. The shorting is between VGH and VGL voltages internally. Now there will be a gate cough in the panel. Before starting repair first we need to disconnect the VGH and VGL connection from the source cough first. See friends these are the VGH, VGL test points first we need to disconnect it from panel side. See friends now we successfully completed the, the disconnection process. Now you can notice the white shaded display with moving vertical lines because now all voltages are ok in the panel scalar board. Here before starting the bypass operation of VGH and VGL voltages in Gatakoff VGH and VGL test points, 
First we need to cut down the Gatakov tracks coming from glass side indicates VGH and VGL. See finally now we cut down the those tracks. Now finally we can bypass VGH and VGL voltages. Here this is the COF datasheet. See friends now work is done but here you can see half picture comes while checking with the multimeter in above Gatakov we found VGL voltage is missing so we need to bypass VGL voltages in that COF also. Now finally work is done here you can see the final results. Now picture comes but here you can notice a horizontal line on the display dot it's a bonding issue. That can be solved using panel bonding machines. Rest of the screen is now crystal clear. See friends finally work is done. Now we fix the jumper wires using the double side tape. Now TV works fine. So that's it hope you like this video see you in another video with another interesting topics. If you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Remember that this is just only a temporary solution permanent solution is always panel replacement. Thank you for watching.